YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna come on here and give you guys my Week Seven NFC East Power Rankings. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. One road to seven thousand subscribers. Please help me get there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So, in today's video, like I said, we going to see where the Washington Commanders, where the Dallas Cowboys, where the Philadelphia Eagles, and the New York Giants all rank after their Week 6 matchups across the league. So, alright, let's go ahead and talk about it. For the NFC, it was a... Uh, NFC East, it was a... Uh, lackluster week, um, to say the least. The two wins were about Washington and Dallas. Um... And the two losses were by Philly and the Giants. Now, I will say this about the Giants. The Giants definitely could have won that game. And you can argue that they should have won that game because it was a missed pass in the first call. The Giants shot themselves in the foot so many times. I mean, that Tyrod Taylor box uh, going into halftime, how can you have that? You've been in the league for like 89 years. How can you have a debacle like that, right? The Giants honestly should have won that game. So, they are a team that... Is not very good like I don't know what it is and I say this every time we do this video it, it just don't seem the same in New York like last year everybody was playing for Brian Dable like they was coming together they was you know what I'm saying it being an NFL team but like now it just don't seem that and they got better talent I said all the time but the Giants they're bad uh, but they should have could have won that game I ain't gonna say should have because you know, um, they didn't make enough plays, but they had opportunities, and they just let that go. Um, as far as the Eagles, they lost to the Jets, um, and it was a lackluster game for both sides of the ball. But you you expect that from a Zach Wilson-led team. You don't expect that from a uh, Jalen Hurts-led team. I thought Jalen Hurts and them boys were going to come in. Um, and, you know, obviously, I know the offense has been struggling, but I thought at some point they were going to figure it out during that game. The whole game, they didn't. That defense from the Jets was playing really well. The defense of the Eagles was playing really well, but the offense could just never figure it out. I think they had, like, four turnovers in total. Jalen Hurts had three picks by himself. So the Eagles were not good. Um, and then the Dallas Cowboys, similar to the Washington Commanders, got a victory, but it was not pretty um, but more or less, they got a victory. It don't matter. They played the Chargers. The Chargers had ample opportunities to win that game, and they didn't do it. I actually think Dak Prescott um, played solid in that game. You know what I'm saying? They played solid. Offense, both sides of the ball really couldn't get nothing going. Justin Herbert had an opportunity late, and he did not take advantage. I think I think uh, Bland got to pick to sell the game for the Cowboys. So, Cowboys, Washington got the victory, and we know Washington Commanders, they got the victory versus the Falcons, and uh, arguably, I will say the Washington Commanders, actually, I'm going to say definitively, I will say the Washington Commanders had the most convincing win, or should at least have the most convincing win, but on paper, it's going to look like it was a close game, when in reality, it should have been a blowout. But we know we're not there yet blowing teams out. So, again, like I said, a lackluster week. Even the wins were kind of lackluster. But, you know, the games were pretty much lackluster for real, for real. Um, but let's get to the rankings. So, coming in at number four, I'm going to go ahead and put the Philadelphia Eagles at four. I think this is the first week that they're losing their first place spot. I'm going to go ahead and drop them all the way down to four. I mean, you you have an opportunity to, to, to remain undefeated. You go into the Meadowlands where, you know, you have opportunity after opportunity. Your defense is giving you opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to win the game. And and, and, and the offense sold. Jalen Hurts sold. Uh, DeAndre Swift sold. You know, Devonta Smith dropping passes. The only person not really seeing the show up was AJ Brown because I believe AJ Brown had like 100 plus yards, so he was the only guy that showed up. Elaine Johnson went down late. Um, Jack Driscoll was getting worked. Like that was a really really bad showing from the Philadelphia Eagles offense. Now is it panic time for the Eagles? No, it is not. But I will say this for the Eagles: they have a tough schedule coming up. This is really where their tough stretch, um, you know, starts to hit. They got the the Dolphins on Sunday Night Football. 
And then after that, they played a wash. Nick Amanda's again, to, to, in my opinion, to up this point, we played them their best. We played their best. I know the Jets won, but I feel like we played them their best. They, they, we gave them their hardest matchup. So you got to go on the road and face Washington again, who's going to be bloodthirsty for revenge because we let one slip away. Then after that, you got to face the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and then after that, you got to face the Chiefs. Then the Pills, like, oh, my. And then the 49ers, like, oh, my God. And then the Cowboys again. Like, the, the Eagles have a really tough tough stretch and this is where we're going to figure out what is this Eagles team really made of are they really a team that's still gonna be a juggernaut in the NFC which I still think they are I don't have no doubts about that but this stretch is going to tell me a lot like if they could find a way honestly speaking to get out of this stretch they got one two three four five six seven games if they can come out of that seven game stretch I would say maybe like five and two four and three maybe then then they they will be you know fine because this is tough man you got the wash nigga man the, the dolphins this sunday then you got the commanders then you got the e or the cowboys then you got the chiefs then you got the bills and then the four like that is a freaking like whole like um i wasn't gonna say horrid but like i was gonna say like that is a tough stretch and then after the 49 you got the cowboys again like man uh this is gonna tell me all i need to know about the eagles okay Starting this Sunday, um, but I fully expect the Eagles to still be competent and still, you know, potentially uh, compete in this division and run away with it. But this now with that loss to the Jets, um, kind of has gives up other teams in this division: the Cowboys, Washington, um, hope, you know, hope. And um, they are going to be needing better performances from the offense. Brian Johnson wasn't good. Nick Sirianni wasn't good. Like they need better, uh, um, you know. Better showing from that offense if they want to have an opportunity to beat the Dolphins, you know, especially on Sunday Night Football. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the Eagles at four because you the way you lost, you shouldn't have lost that game. I mean, well, you should have because you, you turned the ball over four times and that was a sloppy. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the Eagles at four. Number three, I'm going to go ahead and put the New York Giants, man. Give a round of applause to the Giants, man. They, um, Like I said in the intro, they could have won that game and borderline should have won that game but so many mistakes happened on their part um you could again like i said you could have called the pass interference if you wanted to um but before that they had opportunities man why not just give it to saquon barkley you know what i'm saying let him let him try to dive at the two you know why not run a read option with tyrod taylor something like that get him on get him out of space um there's something that that could have caught the, the bills off guard like i said that was passing the french you can say that but they didn't call it. Um, and the Giants are a team that, although their season is pretty much done, scares me as a Washington Commanders fan. As we know, uh, they own us right now. We can't beat Daniel Jones. Hopefully, he plays though, because I don't want no, I don't want no easy win or I don't want no excuse. Now again, Tyrod Taylor, I think. Pl- Honestly, runs that offense way better than Daniel Jones, but I would rather beat Daniel Jones because we, we haven't been able to beat him. Uh, you know, really, I think we beat him one time. So I would rather beat Daniel Jones, but hey, Tyrod Taylor is fully capable of, pl- of beating us. You know what I'm saying? He's very, very good. And I, like I said, I think he is better for that offense right now than than one Daniel Jones. They looked good on Sunday Night Football for a little bit, and they kept it. They kept it competent. That defense was solid. Only held the Bills to what 14 points. Uh. If I can remember correctly, uh, let's check it out right quick. Um, yeah, 14 and 9. So I think the Giants are going to come into Washington or at least go home because we're going to New York, actually. Oh, no, no, no. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Uh, actually, let me check that. Let me check that right quick. I think we're on the road, actually. We're going to New York where we don't really play well. And they're going to have some confidence. They're going to have some confidence. Yeah, they're at home. So they're going to have confidence because we have a two game a two game road stretch we just came from Atlanta and then we're going to New York here so they're gonna have some confidence after this law after this almost win and you know they're licking their chops they're like hey look we can't beat nobody else but we know we could be watched so we got to come with our a game um and they're coming in with confidence honestly then you got at number two the Dallas Cowboys like I said Dallas Cowboys they got their victory on Sunday night or Monday night football versus the Chargers and it was it was a decent game um you know it was a 20 to 17 victory by the Dallas Cowboys Dak Prescott was 21 for 30 272 and one touchdown you know not really much um you know pretty much being you know that game manager 
Seven curries for 40 yards by him. CeeDee Lamb had seven receptions for 117 yards, so big game by him. Justin Herbert had opportunities, man, um, but he just he just couldn't get it done late. He couldn't get it done late. That defense by the Dallas Cowboys came up really, really good, man. Uh, you know, obviously, like I said, DeAndre Bryant uh, with, the, with the game selling pick. Um, their kicker was money. You know, he was money. Um, so they had, uh, you know, a pretty solid game for the Dallas Cowboys. And again, like I said, nobody's winning this division. Uh, this week was pretty much, you know, it wasn't like, like, like convincing or it wasn't like the best but a win, a win is a win you feel me and we'll take it any kind of way we can get it you feel me so i'm gonna put the dallas cowboys at two and at number one i got my washington commanders i think my washington commanders for this week deserves to be number one on the nfc east week seven power rankings because if i didn't say week seven in the intro week seven um instead of week six my Washington Commanders deserve to be, deserve to be, um, you know, uh, number one. You look at the rest of the division. Like I said, the, the Eagles they lost bad. You know, like as far as like the performance they had, the Cowboys was good, but they, you know, you could have played better. The reason why I'm giving my Washington Commanders number one is because they went on the road to beat a Falcons team, and they're coming off of a three-game losing streak. And again, if you watch that game, that game should not have been as close as, as the final score. Should have been like 38-10, 31. 10 31 7 16 um the washington commanders forced three turnovers of jane of uh desmond ritter sam howe continues to be really really efficient for this team taking care of the ball so i think my washington Commanders for this week deserve to be number one what says you out there this is going to be a fluid list as y'all know if y'all just now tuning in this is a fluid list uh, i have weeks where i put the eagles number one i mean they've been undefeated for the last couple weeks i believe like they've been number one since week one then i had weeks you know where the giants was above the commanders or the cow like this is a fluid list so don't get all you know, mad or about your team not being number one. So, with that being said, though, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. What is your week seven NFL NFC East power rankings? Leave it down below in the comment section. As always, me and Boy Wine got you. Like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. One of the 7,000 subscribers. Please help me get there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace.